What's up, what's up, what's up? It's me, your homegirl, Lagosha Wright, here at the Reverend's Design Team. I hope everybody out there is faring through all of this as best they can because we know that every single day we keep getting a lot of information uh, about how we need to adjust our lives. So we here at the Reverend's Design Team, we are being, I'm talking about as on point as we possibly can to follow the guidelines that's outlined to us federally, um, nationally, you know, locally, um, and of course via the CDC and uh, all the other health officials who are doing their best to make sure that we are being safe out here and keeping you guys in good spirits. And so my job as a cosmetologist is really not just to make you look good, but to also make you feel good. So we in the beauty business, we definitely understand that during times of, you know, panic, times of trauma, times of sadness, most certainly times of uncertainty, that you need balance. And so the beauty industry and the barber industry, we're offering to everybody out there who cannot, don't want to come out, um, they don't have enough time to come out, we are encouraging you to have some balance in your life. That looking good is not only about having fabulous hair color and a great hairstyle and nails and makeup, but when you look good, you actually feel good. And so to those of you who can't come to a salon or a barbershop, who don't want to, who you know, whatever your preference is, um, I want you to know that the Reverence Design Team, we have availed ourselves to you in three different ways. So number one, we have this virtual platform. So if you just need some tips on how to take care of your hair at home, you don't want to spend the money, you want to make sure you're saving up, we want to make sure that you're doing that please visit our YouTube channel at Ladosha Wright and I have a plethora of videos that you can watch and you can teach yourself or you can make sure that you're following, you know, some really good sound advice to keep your hair looking fabulous. So I have something for just about every hair texture on that YouTube channel. Of course, it's free. And so I also have a podcast that's actually talking about this very topic, which is about balancing, you know, you know, having balance and beauty, rather. So when you're going through a crisis or you're going through difficult times, we don't think it's really important or we don't think it's advisable, we don't think it's pertinent that you just have so much, you know, emphasis around like trauma, 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 because to a lot of people, that can be very, very overwhelming. So what better way to take your mind off of all of this and let the people, the powers that be, do what they can because we're just mere citizens and we have to do what we're told. And so in the backdrop, what I think would be wonderful to do is to take time to spend on who? Me, that's right, spend it on yourself. This is a good time to have me time. So the salon, if it's not the place for you, the barbershop, if it's not the place for you, then don't come out, do what you know is best for you, regardless of your age or your health. Some people, it's just an absolute personal preference, but still you want to make sure you have some balance. I also have a podcast that you can, you know, if you don't want to watch me, like, I don't want to see you, I think you ugly, I'm tired, I, want to, I just want to hear your voice. So if you're just tired of seeing me, then you can listen to me at What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon. I'm going to have a podcast. Um, I pretty much record just about every week or every other week, and I try to make it witty and funny just like my blog. So if you're not a, a um, you don't like to watch videos, you like to listen, you like audio books, then you can just listen to me talk on podcasts. And then also, um, I have ebooks. I have books available. So there are a lot of different things that you can do to keep yourself motivated and to have some balance. And so um, I used to be an outreach worker. And one of the things that we always, always worked with our families on was having balance. And balance to us in the, in the areas of life was around social slash spiritual. We also believe that balance should be included in emotional, physical, cultural, and financial. So those five aspects will help you, you know, kind of cope. This is something that um, a lot of us have not 
ever, ever experienced. I've had some situations in my life personally, you know, where I had to do this type of stuff. Crunch down on my money, you know, um, not go to the hair salon. As a matter of fact, I grew up, I never even went to a hair salon. So all of this is kind of new for me as well. So I'm having to be in a house or um, at a homeless shelter at a certain time. So some of us, we've actually lived through some crises. And even during those times, it's important that we have what? Balance. I can recall living in a homeless shelter. They had movies for us to watch. They gave us little, you know, personal hygiene packets. It wasn't just soap and a face cloth and toothpaste and personal hygiene items, but they actually had some like, you know, floral lotions. You know, we had like lip balms, some nail polishes. These things to help boost your morale because when you're homeless, you don't necessarily feel so good. And so when you're going through a pandemic, you don't always feel so good. You're living through this situation. So it's really, really important that you find some balance. So if you find yourself glued to the news all the time and all of these alerts, you have to be on top because at one moment it was 250, the next it was 50, now it's down to nine people. We have the opportunity to meet the federal guidelines here at the Rivers Design Team. However, some salons and other businesses, they don't have the ability to do that. So we are requiring people to wash their hands when they come in. Yes, we're taking temperatures, you know, so we're doing our best to make sure that, you know, we're, we're doing what the, what the, um, the federal federal government and the state of Ohio and the city of Cleveland Heights, what they're asking us to do if we're going to be open, which is to be responsible with our leadership. And so as an entrepreneur, our leadership is not just in getting your money. Our leadership is just not in getting your, pur your purchases. Our leadership is being there for you, giving you advice, because there will come a time where there will be no hair salon to go to. Um, there will come a time where there will be no shampoo to get. You may have to work with what you have in your house. And so right now, we are blessed to be in a country where we have these modalities, such as books, we have eBooks, we have the social media platform, and, and currently, we still have businesses that are available to be open to provide you with what you need during a pandemic. So I want to encourage everyone out there to have some balance in your life. Don't just overwhelm yourself with a lot of grief. And if you've ever been through moments and periods in your life uh, where you've lost a loved one, I've had one of those moments too. Like when I lost my son, I wanted to cry every day, all day. And my therapist was like, uh, you need counseling. And I was like, no, I don't. And I, I, when I'm at work, I feel good. And she said, well, you know what? You can't always work. And I was like, oh, okay. So even during that time, my therapist was like, you cannot be in a constant state of grieving. You have to have some outlet. And it was, it was hard, but you know what? I had my cousins, I had my customers. You know, I didn't, want to, I didn't really want to do that, but I had to do it. When my mom passed away, I remember my customer, Miss Kathy, who gets on my damn nerves. Yes, I said it. Miss Kathy just worked my last nerves. She came to my house, got in the bed. I don't even know how she found out where I live now that I think about it. But somehow she found out where I live. She came and she got in the bed. And I'm telling you, I snotted like all over her clothes. And she just let me cry. I told her I didn't like her. I was very mean. But I had to get that out. And when I got finished, she said, you've got to get up and get yourself together. Why? Because she knew I needed to have what? Balance. So during this time, it's important that you find a way to have balance. The most economical, the most fun, the most interesting, the most loving, the most fascinating, the most beautiful, um, it's free, you can share it. The best way that you can have balance is when you concentrate where? On yourself. So in the beauty industry, that's all we do. We encourage people to do what? Take care of yourself. The salon and the barbershop, believe it or not, our industry is almost like an attorney's office or a doctor's office, you know, or a chef. 
you know, we give you the little good foundation, and then when you go out, we want you to be able to do what? Duplicate or take care of to protect what? Your investment. So most beauty and barber industries, we see your visit as an investment. And so all of our hair care products, our retail goods, they are about what? Protecting that investment. How can you give that that package, that portfolio, a little bit more zeal, okay? And so you're not a money, you're not a piece of money, you're not a stock and bond, you're an actual human being, you have energy emanating from you, you have a vibe, you know, coming from you, you have a heart, you have feelings, you have emotions. And so you're gonna have to do a lot of different things in those areas of social slash spiritual, emotional, physical, financial, and cultural. You're going to need to give some attention in all of those areas just to help you get through the power, the moment, the second of what? Right now. So we keep hearing, it may last till October. Focus on right now. Don't go to October, just focus on right now and then look around you and ask yourself, what can I be doing with myself? Because if you take care of this in here, I promise you what's out there is going to be okay even when there's chaos. You know, when you think about how things are coming into creation, um, if you've ever read the story of um, Aset and Haru, you know, the comedic you know, principles of how the world came into existence, it's a wonderful story of this, this uh, cosmic, you know, something taking place. When you look at those little videos on TVs that shows you how a plant just sprouts, they're always showing you this little synergistic blend. When they're showing you how a fetus, you know, comes into development, they'll show you that sperm swimming up and there's a penetration and there's some type of chaos that's taking place. And so out of that chaos comes what? You, you beautiful, wonderful person. And, and, and you know you have to be beautiful, wonderful, and magnificent because some things, what, just don't come to fruition. There are a lot of seeds that get sown, and guess what? They don't sprout. There are a lot of sperms that come through and travel, and guess what? It doesn't make a baby, but you can. There are a lot of dreams. People have a lot of vision. They see a lot of things, and guess what? It doesn't manifest. But if your dreams, if you are here, you're in your home, you're in your car, you're with your loved one, you got a kid to pop upside the head. I miss popping my kids upside the head. I wish my son was here to do that. You know what? You're in a magnificent place, even during a pandemic that nobody knows anything about. You know what? I know we don't want to hear it, but that's just not our problem. As my mother used to say, ain't nothing you can do about it. So you might as well just work what your mama gave you, okay? So find some balance in your life. And to me, the best place to, to address those five areas is if you start with yourself. So if you are a salon owner and you want to, you know, copy what we're doing, by all means, copy it. There's a salon in Cleveland that has the ability to follow the federal guidelines of nine people. We staggered our appointments out. Our team members, some are coming in later. Some of us are switching different days so that we can make sure we're all able to make some income. Because let's face it, my name ain't Delta Airlines. I don't think they're gonna bail me out as fast. However, if the government says, LaDosha, you cannot open your business, you're gonna have to stay shut in, then guess what? I'm going to have to do it. But I have a whole lot of stuff at home to give myself what? Balance things that don't cost money. I have tape, I have glue, I have old magazines, I have social media, um, I got some food. Y'all know I got some food. Y'all can't see my hips, but I'm telling y'all, I got some food. I got a whole bunch of broken jewelry that I need to fix. So I've got some things to do, okay? So I may not wanna be shut in, but if it comes down to that, I'm going to have to do it, but I'm going to make sure that through it all, I have 
balance. That's why I put that little um, love sounds up this morning. So sometimes you just don't want to hear nothing. Just, you know, turn off the music, turn everything off, and listen to that little hum of your of your bootleg, you know, uh, uh, furnace that needs to be fixed, or that, that guy next door fixing his car and that rev of that engine. Just concentrate on that just for a few seconds, just to do what? Feel the love of the energy of the earth that's around you, because love is everywhere, even during a pandemic. There are people out there. Someone, I think uh, my homeboy Shock posted a picture of a nurse. It was pictures of nurses. It's his daughter's birthday. Happy birthday, Marcia. And so he was saying that these are the heroes we don't see. And so in that picture, the nurses were sleeping on the floor. They were in cubicles. Um, one nurse has, was squatting down and was sleeping. You guys got to understand, in a hair salon, believe it or not, a lot of doctors and attorneys and politicians, they will come in here and literally fall asleep at the shampoo bowl. I'm not even making this up, guys. I'm not going to name any names. We have some of them who will come here because our bathroom is clean and they can wash up right quick. We had another woman who is the head of a really big, popular, reputable corporation here in Cleveland. She came here, she had a laptop, she was able to change her clothes, do her work, go in the office, put her head down and just take a little nap. You know, so it's things like that that takes place behind the scenes that we just don't understand. And as a as a uh, entrepreneur, you know, um, a salon owner, I don't see the salon as just a place to do your hair. This is a place where you can do what plug in and recharge. The name of our salon is called the Reverence Design Team. Why? Because when you revere someone, you're holding them in the highest regard. And so we can't do that if you don't do that. And so my mantra when it comes to beauty is just like Mr. Vidal Sassoon, the legendary, the late, the great Vidal Sassoon. And he had a mantra that said, if you don't look good, we don't look good. And if we don't look good, you don't look good. We take pride in you. If you don't look good, we don't look good. Vidal Sassoon. You gotta be old to remember that commercial. That's a wonderful mantra. That's how we are in the beauty industry. We like to represent beauty, not just aesthetically, but on the inside. So during this pandemic, take advantage of what we at the Reverend Design Team have to offer. Right now we have to offer you virtual assistance by way of YouTube, or you can actually do a phone call, a virtual appointment, and we will walk you through your hairstyle, and that has a small fee, just give us a call if you want more information on that. So that's one way. The second way is the actual salon visit. And we're our, as again, the salon visit currently is following the guidelines as outlined by the federal government of nine people or, I mean, or, or less, okay? And so we're requiring people to come in and wash their hands for 30 seconds. The stylist, we have to do the same thing. We have timers that we're wiping everything down. You know, uh, we're doing all that. We're taking temperatures to make sure we're in to make sure everyone is okay. We are encouraging all of our elderly people to not come to the hair salon. Children, we're saying keep your children home. If you have a cough or the sniffles or you know, a chronic cough or maybe you're like in allergy season, if your medicine ain't working, just don't come to the hair salon because people aren't feeling very comfortable about coughs right now. So we're doing everything we can to make the environment here, you know, um, comfortable and safe with reverence. And of course, we have timers. If you come to our salon, some of this stuff we've always done because believe it or not, the state of Ohio has always mandated. It's the rule, it's the law to have a hair salon, okay? Um, but we do have timers, we're timing ourselves to make sure that we, you know only one person is at the shampoo bowl and you know we got a timer. So we're doing as best we can to follow the federal, the uh, 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 state and local and of course the health guidelines in order to be open for business to service you as best we can until further notice. And then last but not least, we also have actual books 
hair care products, we have ebooks, we have journals. So we have a lot of things that you can keep yourself busy to take care of yourself because I personally have had experiences to tell you that when I look good, that I truly, truly felt better and I attacked situations and definitely during those most difficult times, I was really able to get through them a lot better because I looked as best I could. Did I look like this? Hell no. Um, but you know, it was a little bit better. My nail polish was chipped. I didn't wear any makeup. You know, um, I hadn't, you know, flossed my teeth like a shit. Let me tell Dr. Walker. Let me tell my dentist. Hey, Dr. Walker, how you doing? Okay. So, um, yeah. So, I didn't do it all right, but I was good enough to get through that moment. And then, of course, I have my lovely, loving, loving family. I see my uncle. Hey, Uncle Loss. I have my uncle on, you know, on my side saying, niece, we got you. Anything you want, anything you need. We got your back. Um, we know you're going to miss Rubel. You, we know you're going to miss your dad. I can call them anytime and still cry that I miss my father. And they're like, it's okay. They don't laugh at me. You know, they still let me do that. So again, but they're, my uncle is proud to see what? That my niece has balance in her life. She's not just getting, you know, oh, I can never be the same without my father. No, I'm not the same without my father, but because I have balance and I have support. So you are not alone. You have the Revs Design Team and our three modalities at your leisure uh, to give you the support that you need to get through. And no, I'm not going to come over your house and let you snot on my clothes like Miss Kathy did, but if you need you know, a little chip her up, or you know, I give you my number now, boost your morale. Um, because now we can't let you, you know, we can't let y'all smile on us now because the pandemic says no, 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 no. Okay, so there you have it. I hope everybody who's watching this feed is feeling a whole lot better about balance and beauty during a pandemic or any difficulty. Uh, crisis because some people they're still losing loved ones even during a pandemic. Can you imagine losing a loved one during a pandemic? <laughs> Jesus, you know, I mean, it's a lot that's going on. So we all have to avail ourselves. And that's one thing that I like about, you know, being, you know, who I am and having that last name, W-R-I-G-H-T. You know, it ain't right for nothing. It's spelled wrong, I know, but it's right, okay? Thank you guys so much, all right? Again, it's me, your homegirl, LaDosha Wright. You know what I say when I'm always signing out, right? I'm talking about a whole lot of peace a whole lot of love, and a whole lot of hair. And if you ain't got no hair, then do what? Just wear a little ball head. And yes, I'm going straight home. Bye.